suggest to you, because some of her strategists have said this kind of quietly, it's not really sort of a big thing on the campaign trail, is that a lot of this is sexism. I mean, it's, it's buried so deep that people just say, well, I don't trust her. She doesn't keep her. And then you turn around and say, well, what politician does? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, the governor of New York, of course, is an exception, right? But, I mean, politicians all the time, they, they change their opinions, they move here, they move there. With Hillary Clinton, though, it seems to be something that's just completely unacceptable. All right. Either Earl Lewis of the New York Daily News on CNN is, uh, is uh, you know, ignorant, and I don't think he is. How could he? People not. Tr Larry Kudlow joins us, CNBC senior contributor, host of the Larry Kudlow radio show on Cumulus Radio. Larry, uh, welcome aboard. Just, uh, just before we get into the results tonight and everything you expect, I mean, to sit there and say, oh, people don't trust Hillary, there's sexism in that because all politicians change their minds. Well, it's not just about changing your mind, it's about being under FBI investigation and always being in trouble, testifying before a grand jury when she was first lady, you name it. Yeah, it's about. It's about saying to the nation, when the Benghazi uh, right. soldiers and ambassador, when their when their caskets were shipped to Washington, she gives a speech blaming it on the video, yep. not terrorists. But we know from Congressman Jim Jordan's investigation that she had already emailed her daughter and a Saudi ambassador that it was terrorism. So she lied in front of the whole country with the caskets right there yep. at Andrews Air Force Base. Yep. That is just unforgivable in my humble opinion. Yeah, well, Larry, I'm surprised because uh, Hillary keeps saying nothing new came out of those hearings. But let's move on. Uh, what do you expect to happen tonight uh, in about an hour and a half when Donald Trump takes to the podium and makes his uh, victory speech? Is it going to be uh, a big, big night for him? I do. It looks, it looks like a landslide. Um, results are going to trickle in from upstate. That'll be the latest. Uh, ABC News is very interesting. Early exit polls, not complete, right. but early exit polls show Republican voters believe the best chance to beat Hillary Clinton, Trump 56, Kasich 21, Cruz 16. So that's an electability poll among GOP. I think that's very interesting and may be suggesting a big Trump land. You know, you and but it's early. Great, it's not great, authorized and it's not complete. Great minds think alike. I put those numbers up at the top of the show. Uh, also, a uh, number that I mentioned is that same ABC News exit poll early. 70 plus percent of Republican voters today in New York believe that if you have the majority of delegates at the convention, you should be the nominee. Yeah, well, that's right. They don't want a second ballot and all the rest of it. And you also see, as I'm, I'm sure you did, um, number one issue, who can big change, bring change? They want a political outsider. I think one thing here, with Ted Cruz defending the delegate hunt, he got off message and really sounded like the establishment. Trump trashing the delegate hunt, I think, put him back into the role of the outsider and the change agent. So I, I'm just thinking in the last week that may have helped Trump and hurt Cruz. Yeah, uh, Bill Crystal said earlier that he, he would vote for Trump, for, for Cruz, for Cruz if he were a, a New York resident. He said, but I, he, he's got to stop, you know, bragging about winning these delegates uh, the way he's winning them. He says it makes no sense. He said it's foolish. Well, I, Cruz is a growth guy, and he did have a growth message, but I think he, he, he was good on CNBC, by the way, uh, last Friday. I think it was last Friday or Thursday, but he kind of got off message and got defending this delegate process, which, as everybody knows, is a gigantic mess, okay? It's a gigantic mess. By the way, Republicans ought to scrap caucuses, get rid of them, and just let voters vote directly in a primary, okay? Make it real simple direct election in a primary get rid of the caucuses get rid of the multi-layer delegate selections and don't let the party regulars run the thing i mean why can't they just do that well you know they'll tell you it's been this way forever and michael reagan said his dad went through it all those times and it's it, i'm sure that's that true doesn't make it right no no it doesn't it and, and you know what larry one thing that'll come out of this presidential election and, and a lot of things will one will be people are now aware of how chaotic this is look Bernie Sanders, uh, he won three quarters of the, he won the vote in a three by 75 percent in Washington State. He lost the delegates. <laughs> uh, Ted Cruz could lose Pennsylvania. They're saying now and win the delegate count. It's insane. Well, by the way, speaking of Ms. Sanders and so forth, I'm getting reports from all kinds of people 
they're voting the dead in Brooklyn. <laughs> they're voting the dead in Brooklyn. The registration rolls, and this is on the Democratic yeah, side. Yeah, they're gone. It may be true for Republicans. Those registration rolls are so screwed up. One guy goes in and votes. <laughs> His mother passed away years ago. Her name is on the registration roll. Yeah, well, there's hundreds of thousands of irregularities that the... Uh uh, the the uh, New York authorities are going to investigate uh, after this election is over, they're saying. So, yeah, it, it is crazy. That's, now, that's politics as usual on the Democrat side. We like to think the Republicans do it better, but we're finding out not so much. Larry, great to talk to you, my friend. As always, thank you. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Larry Kudlow, ladies. Also uh, one of the founders of the Committee to Unleash Prosperity, very important organization. Up next, the Molesburg panel with Christopher Hahn and Kurt Schlichter. Don't go away.